Hello students, good morning. Welcome to English e-learning program. This is Nohi Sarai, taking now the conditional classes. Right. In the last class, we saw how to combine two sentences by using the term if. That we discussed the first three conditional classes. Now, the last conditional class, that is the third conditional class, is awaiting. Right. Let us move to the class now. Combining sentences using the term if. Okay. This is the title. Now we are in the third condition. Before that, we must know what is the combination of third condition. If plus had plus verb 3 and would plus have plus verb 3. The condition should have had plus verb 3, whether it is in positive or in negative. It may be in positive or it may be in negative. The result should have would plus have plus verb 3. It will also be either in positive or in negative. Okay. And what idea should be applied here? It is the imagination of different past. Thinking that what happened in the past should not have happened as well as what did not happen in the past should have happened okay this idea should be applied in the third condition okay right let me give you the example my friend did not See me yesterday. He did not invite me to his function. Right. Look at the question. My friend did not see me yesterday. He did not invite me to this function. This is the first question. Okay. Now, we have to analyze the verb. Did plus see. That is, it is in the verb to past simple saw. Did plus see is saw. Right. And then, Look at the verb applied in the second sentence. Again, it is in the past. That is, did plus invite in my turn. So, both sentences have past simple verb. Okay, right. And then, look at the idea. It is in the negative as well as the second sentence is in the negative. So, the questions are in the negative mode. We must know that in the first three conditional classes, in the first two conditional classes, the idea is in positive case, in zero as well as in first. The idea and the mode is in the positive case. But in the second condition, that is, it is in the imaginary condition, the idea is in negative. Both sentences have negative. But the tense form applied in all those three conditional classes is simple present. Okay, the questions in all these conditional classes, 
zero conditional first conditional and second conditional these three conditional classes have present simple okay and now we are discussing the past verb okay the past verb is applied in both sentences so if you find past simple in the question the answer should be written in the third conditional okay that is unfulfilled conditional right it is the thinking of the different past okay you cannot go back to your past you cannot rub or destroy this action you are imagining that something should have happened like this okay that is why this conditional class is called unfulfilled conditional and the verb pattern should be add class verb 3 in the result would do plus have plus verb 3 this combination should be applied while combining these two sentences right and one more thing if the question is in positive the answer should be in negative otherwise if the question is in the negative forms the answer should be in positive so positive idea should be changed into negative idea as well as negative idea should be changed into positive idea so we have to be very careful while using this right come let us do the answer so use the subordinate injunction if and then use the subject who is the subject here my friend if my friend and we have to apply the verb pattern had plus verb 3 so use had and then the negative idea should be changed into positive idea so we have to cancel the negative word not in both sentences so after cancelling the negative idea we can write the answer had plus verb 3 what is the verb used here did plus c that is saw the past perfect of this verb is same okay had plus verb 3 if my friend had seen remaining the object is me yesterday come right if my friend had seen me yesterday remaining the result is use the same subject here he again the verb applied here is did plus invite that is inviter so we have to apply the verb group would do plus have plus verb 3 so use the same verb group he would have what is the verb 3 of this verb 2 inviter inviter he would have invited me to the function okay so it is in the positive okay right look at here this is the positive pattern and this also in positive pattern correct okay right look at the answer if my friend had seen me yesterday he would have invited me to the function right let us discuss the other example now you worked hard you pass you worked hard you passed again the major key word is simple past 
that is Ubuntu 2 and here also we find Ubuntu 2. If we find the past simple of the verb in the question, the answer should be in third conditional. That is, it must be combined in unfulfilled condition. Right. Again, we have to analyze whether it is in the positive or in negative. The first idea is in positive as well as the second idea of two is in positive. Right. So, we have to apply the third conditional and this positive should be converted into negative. Okay. Right. So, the answer will be if the subject is you. If you, the combination is had plus verb 3. So, use had and then this positive should be changed into a negative. So, use the negative term not here. If you had not, what is the verb 3 of what? 1. If you had not worked hard, comma, the result, again, you, the verb should be in result is would plus have plus verb free. Again, we have to use the negative term. You would not have, what is the third form of this past? The same word, past. Okay, so this is the answer. If you had not worked hard, you would not have passed. This is the thinking of the different past. Okay, and analyze the verb pattern had plus verb 3 and would plus have plus verb 3. This positive is changed into negative. Okay, likewise, we have to combine these two sentences. Okay. Let me give you the other example. I was not able to study last night. I failed. Okay. I was not able to study last night. I failed. Look at the verb pattern. Was plus adjective. The verb used here is past tense. Verb two. And then it is in the negative. Okay. In the second sentence, the verb used here is past simple and then it is in the positive there is no negative term in the second sentence but there is a negative term in the first sentence so while transforming these two sentences into a single sentence we should cancel this negative term in the condition that is in the subordinating class and we have to add negative in the result that is in the main case okay right now the answer goes like this use the subordinating injection if and subject is i if i the rule is had plus verb 3 right have and then we have to write verb 3 here this is in the negative form so cancel the negative term not then we have to use the verb 3 of this verb 2 what is the verb 3 of this verb 2 was see this is b verb b b is the base form and there are five b verbs in this group and is or was were and is or these three b verbs are 
simple present was and were are simple past and then what is the verb 3 of these five be verbs b e e n been been is the verb 3 of these five be verbs so we should apply verb 3 been okay listen was is in the past tense this past tense should be converted into past perfect that is verb 3 the verb 3 of this verb 2 is been been is the verb 3 of be be group verbs so if i had been remaining part able to study last night come on next sentence the result should have the combination of would plus have plus verb 3 and then this second sentence is in the positive case so we have to use the negative term i would use the negative term here not and then have plus verb 3 have what is the verb 3 for this verb 2 the same verb fail full stop okay this is the verb 3 right Look at the answer. If I had been able to study last night, I would not have failed. Okay, right. Let us see one more example. Anita's performance was great in the interview the first sentence is Anita's performance was great in the interview the second sentence is the board directors were not Ready to reject her. The board of directors were not ready to reject her. Okay, right. So we have to combine these two sentences by using the term if. Okay, analyze the verb. The first sentence, the verb is sim in simple past. And then in the second sentence also, the verb is in simple past. Verb 2 as well as verb 2. And then second, we have to look at the idea applied in both sentences. Whether the idea and mood is in positive case or in the negative case. There is no negative term in the first sentence. So the first sentence is in positive. And there is a negative term in the second sentence. So the second sentence is in the negative term, negative mode. So we have to apply the rule had plus verb 3 and would have plus verb 3. And then the positive should be changed into negative and this negative should be changed into positive. These two major work should be applied while combining these two sentences. Okay, right. So, let us do the answer. Use the term if and write the subject. Anita's performance is the subject. Okay. The subject is Anita's performance. If Anita's performance and then what is the rule? Plus verb 3. Okay. And this is in the positive case. So we have to add negative. Add not. Can you understand? The first sentence is in the positive. 
so the answer must be in the negative so we have to apply not here do remember please add not plus verb 3 what is the verb 3 of this be verb be but add not be remaining great in the interview come if Anitha's performance had not been great in the interview the condition is over how will be the result the result will be in the would plus a hard plus verb 3 right so we have to use would plus hard plus verb 3 right what is the second subject the board directors so use the second subject the board directors and use would would plus have plus verb 3 and this result is in the negative so we have to cancel that negative the result should be in positive in the answer okay right so we cancel that negative term not and then remaining is would plus have and plus verb 3 what is the verb 3 okay the verb is in the be verb the third form of this be verb is be would have been remaining ready to reject her okay have understood okay. if anita's performance had not been great in the interview the board directors would have been ready to reject her by god's grace it had not happened right okay so likewise and we have to analyze the sentences first part is the verb if the verb is in the present and the idea and the mood is in the positive both sentences should be combined into zero conditional as well as the first condition if the idea deals about a fact or if that idea or if that concept accepted universally that should be written in the zero conditional in condition verb 1 should be applied in the result the same verb 1 should be applied in the zero conditional and in the first conditional if the idea deals about a likely result in the future those sentences should be combined into the first conditional okay both conditional classes are in the positive case only and if you find the negative in the sentences if you find any negative term in the sentences and if you find the present verb in that negative sentences you have to use the imaginary conditional that is the second conditional so the second conditional deals about the imaginary conditions right and if you find past simple in any of the sentence if you find past simple and past verb you should remember the third conditional only there is no doubt if you find any past verb that past verb should be converted into past perfect don't bother about the positive or negative case if the idea is in the positive that positive idea should be changed into negative if you find any negative idea that negative idea should be changed into positive so students 
Likewise, we have to look at each corner. The verb and positive and negative ideas have played a major part in this grammar transformation. So I hope you have understood the conditioning classes and its kinds. You have to memorize all the rules of these four conditional classes and then you have to know how to analyze the verb pattern and how to analyze the positive and the negative ideas. After that you can easily convert one idea into another. It is the easiest one. So don't bother about the major transformations in these examples. Okay. Study well, work hard, practice more and more examples. Definitely you will become the expert in this area. So my dear students, with this I will end this session. In the next session we can discuss some one mark in this topic which is given in your textbook there we meet again until then take care thank you for your cooperating thank you once again